Good morning, everybody. It's Irene with Brainstorm Makers. Now, it's just barely morning. It's almost noon here. And outside, well, we've warmed up to the low 40s. But inside, it is now officially 80 degrees. <laughs> now, when you're used to 30s and 40s being the absolute highs, that makes it a little toasty. So I came in here earlier this morning to water and realized it was trying to share some new cool stuff with you guys. Let me take you along on this little project here and we'll keep you filled in. If you've been following us, you know that we have a collection of brassicas and other odd bits and pieces in here, lettuce and a couple of different kinds of cabbage. But this morning when I went to water, I noticed that something was ready to go. By the way, this is the radishes. You'll notice a whole ton of the new guys have come up already. Even some of the new ones that I planted just the other day are now up. It's hard to see, but there is at least one spinach up here. Usually once one pops, we'll start to see a bunch more. So this tray of spinach will hopefully be full pretty quickly. One of our new plants that we have never grown before is this guy. It is a type of Asian green. It is called chum soy. I had to think about that for a minute. It doesn't roll off my tongue. Anyway, I noticed this morning the flower beds and stems are really ready to go. So these are used in stir fry and in soups and all kinds of stuff like that. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to harvest these guys and then we're going to have them as a piece of our lunch today. There's obviously not a lot here, but we want to try it before I go off and plant a whole ton of other ones. We want to try and see if we like the flavor because if we like the flavor, they are a brassica, so they're cold tolerant. They've survived out here for some pretty bad weather. So let me get set up and we'll harvest these. Now this chum soy is a classic case of I saw it in a catalog and wanted to try it. Uh, what I was actually doing is I was browsing for plants that might be able to tolerate the extreme conditions here in our greenhouse. And I could see that these guys have put roots out, which is fine. All I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these central stems here and I have been assured by the catalog that these will grow back. They are a cut and come again sort of plant. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snag these guys out of here. And they don't exactly tell you exactly how to harvest them, but I looked at the harvested ones in a cooking recipe and they look kind of like this. So I'm guessing that's the right way to harvest them. So all I'm doing is I'm taking the central stem out of each and every one of these. And obviously we're not gonna get fat on this little pile of greens, but the whole point was to try them and see if we like them. They are a brassica. In general, we like the brassica greens. So there we go. There's our first har harvest of chum soy right there and we'll see I think you can see this is very characteristic of brassicas it looks just like the beginnings of any other brassica flower well I've moved into the kitchen and I've got a pan I decided not to drag out the the wok it's too small a quantity and not everybody has a wok so it's important to people you can see you can do a simple stir fry without any kind of fancy equipment Oh, I've got about a tablespoon of peanut oil in there, and I'm just going to wait for this to get hot. I've got my choy sum. I keep having, to, I keep stall stalling on that name. Now, I probably didn't need to rinse it under the kitchen faucet. It's just kind of a habit, just in case I've picked up any dirt. I hate grit in my food. Now, normally I would make this with a sauce, but because we're trying it for any kind of a green with a sauce because we're trying this for the first time we want to get the straight flavor we've already tried it raw and it's just an extremely mild 
almost a pak choy flavor, but extremely mild. Now these actually physically remind me of a broccoli wrap, the way they've got the little collections of flowers starting in the center. I want this hot because I want it to um, sort of sear the outside a little bit. Now I think, based on the raw taste of these, that these will be absolutely stunning with a black bean with garlic sauce, but we want to taste these plain to start with. And if we like them, then I'll be trying to get a batch of these planted as absolute soon as possible. I'm going to toss those in, and this is going to spray at me because they have water in them. If I was really concerned about them spraying a lot, I would put one of those lids on or a funny screen or something like that, but I'm not. There we go. Sizzle, sizzle. All I'm going to do is wilt these down a little bit because we just want to taste what the green themselves taste like first. I don't know if we've ever had these in Chinese food before. These are supposed to be the most popular green in a bunch of the Asian countries. They were not hard to grow, so and since they are cut and come again, I could see why they would be a popular thing. Uh, very nutritious, like all the brassicas. And this particular variety is supposed to be more resistant to, to heat than the original varieties, which I said I suspect bolted easily. Okay, let's turn this down just a little. I'm getting a little brown on there, which I want, but I don't want to incinerate anybody. It's possible we've had these in Chinese food before or some other sort of Asian food, and we might have thought it was a broccoli rab or something like that without knowing what it was. I don't ask for all the ingredients when I eat Chinese food. <laughs> I don't worry about it, generally speaking. Okay, I'm gonna say that's done. Convince these to be much easier to eat with uh, chopsticks. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I really like that. The pieces that are a little bit browned, I will definitely be figuring out how I can grow a bunch more of those guys. Well, before I eat all these, I'll have to get Henry in here and have him try some. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this. Irene did a lot of work this morning out in the greenhouse, which is awesome. I had other things I needed to do. And then she actually cooked this new Asian vegetable up for us, and it's surprising. I really like it. It tastes really fabulous. So I think we're going to keep going with it. So yeah, this is definitely a go, and this particular variety is supposed to tolerate heat better than previous varieties. Which is good for us. Yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to grow it a little bit later in the spring than the regular stuff, so, yep. All right, listen, you need to grow some stuff like this. Maybe not this particular variety, not maybe this particular kind of vegetable, but you need to try some new things. We've been gardening, boy, me for more than 60 years and you for probably even a little longer. Yeah, longer than that. <laughs> and we're still trying new things. This is a fabulous experiment. It's a terrific outcome. Right. Now, we won't make believe that we like everything new that we try. Some of it's tolerable and you figure, okay, that was fine, but I won't do it again. But this is really good. I'm very excited about this. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like what you saw here. If not, subscribe anyway. Yeah. It's awesome fun. We're always doing something crazy here, so, you know. <laughs> crazy is the understatement. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.